Hi everybody, this is Peony Prashanti from the Yamogi House. Today I'm making ohagi. And ohagi is made from glutinous rice, glutinous rice that I cooked on the stove. We usually eat this when it gets cold because it has a lot of calories. And if you have a mochi maker, um, it might make it a little bit easier, providing that you don't turn your ohagi into mochi. Then it becomes mochi. So what I'm doing is I'm wetting my, my stick in some water so that it doesn't the rice doesn't stick to the to the stick and I want to get this sort of soft and gooey and traditionally this is um, made with uh, bean paste but I like to be different and so I'm not going to use bean paste I'm going to use butternut squash you know you can put almost anything on this and it's so good my mother used to put roasted soybean flour on on her ohagi oh and it was so good we used to eat this when we were little as a child all right so I'm going to wet my fingers so they don't, so that this doesn't stick to my fingers. It's kind of like pounding mochi, you know. The more you pound, the, the softer it gets. Okay. So I have removed it from my suribachi. And you can make any kind, any, any size you want. And so I'm going to do... Oh. Um, a nice size like this. I've actually even tried with putting cocoa powder on this. The children liked it very much. Right. Now, I shall add You see it some butternut squash oh actually this is delicata squash that I had steamed and mashed and sometimes you can actually even put this on the inside and then cover this with the rice mmm look at that doesn't this look delicious this is what you call calorie food. So like I said, if you want to put it on the inside, then you can kind of spread it out like this. But because this is already small, you can't really get too much inside. And you can just kind of like, uh, you know, get creative. Now, let me show you something really good that I'm going to do. Raise that up a little bit. And because this rice is um, already sweet, it's sweet glutinous rice, I am going to put matcha. Matcha powder. And with matcha powder, you have to put it in a little strainer thing like this. Mmm. This is going to be very yummy. You can even put gomashio on it. Oh, that looks like it's enough. And look how simple it is. It's already done. And the way to eat this is with chopsticks. Mmm. This is great for a um, midnight snack. It'll put you to bed. Oh, and guess what? Mochi also does. We used to give mochi to children at bedtime because for some miraculous reason, mochi prevents bedwetting. 
thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video on sticky rice delights thanks for watching bye